There's where the tropical models are taking it. So, so I know it's a little bit scary when you look at these forecast models. Yes, there's a lot of agreement with the models, and they're all kind of taking this thing at least toward the general direction of the United States. But we're going into July, and we are expecting a pretty big hurricane season this year. You see here in the eastern Pacific, three areas that we are, are watching. There's an invest, a couple of areas to watch, and then in the Atlantic, we see an area of disturbed weather. Well, it's early in the season, but we are already tracking a tropical invest off the coast of Africa. This is 94L. Well, it's moved off the coast of Africa. Now it's south of the Cape Verde Islands. Out in the Atlantic, uh, just off the coast of Africa. Keeping an eye on it, giving about a 40% chance of development. This one's got around a 50-50 shot or so at developing into either a tropical depression or maybe a named tropical system. Right now it does have a 70% chance of tropical development. 80% probability from the hurricane center that this develops, okay? And then it case it should become a tropical system here soon. Well, tropical depression number four has formed in the open Atlantic and it looks like it's going to be moving to the west pretty slowly about 10 miles an hour over the next few days. And then I think it gets up into here uh, by next week. And I think it's going to kind of stew around for a while up here. And so, you know, we could be seeing a pretty good tropical storm or a extreme thing, a hurricane or something sitting right here. And if this were to strengthen, its name would become Don. Is it going to be Tropical Storm Don Juan that just gets everybody a little wet and moist and makes you go fetch your galoshes and dance and sing happily in the rain? Or is it going to be Hurricane Don the Gangster, which is going to tear up infrastructure, wreak havoc on towns, and take hold of major cities? Stay tuned for this epic Thor News weird weather adventure. It's going to be a good summer. <laughs> Hit the button, baby. I was living in a fantasy. So it is just plain steamy. Stay cool. And you have to stay cool, right? We are going from cool to downright hot. This is a Thor News presentation. Are you cool? Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. Thor News presents... Andrew, Katrina, Sandy... These are all memorable names that immediately conjure up images of destruction. It only takes one. Remember that. You remember Matthew that we had last year? I have a feeling we're going to be seeing this thing sitting somewhere in here uh, next week for a few days. And uh, Taking a look at that area, disturbed weather went back over 160 years. You know how many systems have uh, developed in this area? Two. That's it. But... So I know it's a little bit scary when you look at these forecast models. Yes, there's a lot of agreement with the models, and they're all kind of taking this thing at least toward the general direction of the United States. But as we take a look deep into the tropics, uh, um, it's having a tough time getting its act together right now. You've got a lot of shear in the air, also a lot of dry air around. So it's starting to get its act together. And again, this has formed into a fairly symmetrical system. July 12th, this will be next Wednesday, and the European models kind of got the same thing right in here uh, around the same, at the same time. So they both got it right there. Then it kind of sits in here for a while, it kind of sits in here for a while, then the trough that comes in eventually picks it up. Now, and my concern is it sits here for a couple days, and then eventually it's either going to go wing it out to sea, or it's going to come up and graze the coastal areas like that before it heads on out. Okay, one of those two scenarios are going to happen. There's where the tropical models are taking it. So typically this time of the year, our storm origins are concentrated in the Gulf and the Western Atlantic. Every year is different and uh, things are change out there for us. So yesterday it was a little bit more up in this region. But what we've seen is a shift down to the south. Let me show you how that's happened. You go back to some of the consensus models from Sunday night. Everything was to the north like this. We got into Monday morning and they started shifting a little bit to the south. And then last evening, a lot of them have gone even farther to the south. Uh, ocean temperatures are pretty warm uh, through this area. So typically, you'll watch this thing move on off towards the north and the west here in the coming days. Obstacles along the way. The atmosphere is not super conducive to development as it moves toward the west. Has essentially pulled the cone, the confidence of development cone, a little bit farther to the south. All right, on July 2nd, I did something I must never do. I made a prediction. I said, hey, see this? African wave rolling west. I said, I bet it's going to form into a hurricane and then it hit the United States. Why'd I do that? Because my intuition has been on point, and that is what I truly felt. The chances of it coming to hit America from this, I'm on point. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody who's been with me a long time knows I do a damn fine job. Who knows? You know, it's 2017 and anything can happen. Now, I hope it does not happen. I'll be more than happy to be like, hey guys, I was wrong. But at this point, 
I find no guilt or remorse in keeping everybody weather aware. And it is here, still about a week away. Now, a lot of people are saying the wind shear is going to tear its shreds. I still got a funny feeling about it, and I don't think it hurts to keep watching it. And now let's go to the up-to-the-date models. This is Wednesday night, right before midnight. And hey, look, guys. Yeah, so right now, as I predicted, the path is for it to keep on going. And from here, it looks like it will either strike somewhere around here. I've seen crazy models say it's going to get here and then just take a right. I go east. Henry Marcus Sidia, which is one of my favorite meteorologists. I think he does a fantastic job. I highly recommend you subscribe to his YouTube channel, Meteo Madness. I'll put a link in the description box. He says it's going to come here and kind of sit there for a couple days, like we saw from the freak storms last year. So at this point, it looks like my prediction still might be true. So all the models here take it pretty much straight to here. Although this one, like I said, takes it with the like the like best case scenario model. It's weird how this one goes all the way up, and then all these are kind of like, they stop here. But I'm pretty sure the heat, which is like the fuel, tropical storms, it's very hot. So a lot of things are going to be happening in the tropics uh, if things start to heat up. You know, this European model used to be really good at these tropical systems. And, you know, we saw with Cindy, it really did not do a good job with Cindy at all. I mean, it was just, just terrible. The next uh, 10 to 14 days, we should be in an active pattern for the tropics. You know, things uh, could happen, but we'll be watching this over the next couple of days and there could be some development, but it, it will be encountering dry, dusty air and shear. So we're not too bullish on anything uh, too significant happening here, but we'll monitor it. Who knows? Who knows what they're going to do? <laughs> so you can see how they're all sort of closely aligned and intact here as it moves on off towards the north and the west here. Generally here speaking, this thing's going to move just north of the island. We got activity brewing in the Pacific the Gulf, and the Atlantic. So everybody needs to wake up, stop being distracted from the political shit show, Kabuki Theater, and start paying attention to that which is real. Let us put an end to these divide and conquer days. Can you handle that? All right. God bless everyone. If it's happening in a galaxy, then though it's all over real. Or game, solar flares, planet X, how humanity's gonna destroy itself at each other's necks, yeah. I suppose I'm deranged, but a uh, couple of years, darling. Isn't that a daisy?